this is what the makeup is looking like neither side looks better than the other they both look pretty identical but we're gonna wear a wear test and we're gonna do a wear test and we're gonna see which side withholds i'm gonna wear it for eight hours because that's a typical work shift what's popping out it's your girl team stacy and i'm back baby i said i'm back with another youtube video and if you are new to my channel hello and if you're a returning subscriber what's up Alrighty guys, so today we are gonna get straight into the video. Let me just go ahead and pin my hair out the way. I did some flat iron curls today, which is gonna just look so cute. So for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, Milk and Magnesia versus Calamine Lotion. So as you guys know, I had a vid video that went pretty viral and it was me testing out the Calamine Lotion. And I will go ahead and link it up below and down in the description box too. And once I test it out, I swear to you guys, I swear by it. I use it for me, I use it for my clients. I just I love it so back in the days you guys know milk and magnesia used to be a thing people would put it on their face before their makeup it would get like like that super like white film over their face and their makeup would just look very matte and it would last a long time the thing with milk and magnesia is that's literally something that is used for a stomach ache I don't even know how that came about of someone testing it out on their skin but you know it ended up working so now fast forward I ended up stumbling upon the calamine hack and honestly calamine is not for makeup it is not a makeup product but it is a skin product it does go on your skin it's for like when you have sunburns and like skin irritations and stuff like that um so it is safe to put on your skin but it's not necessarily made for cosmetics so before we get into this video i just want to make a small disclaimer use these products at your own discretion you know what i'm saying so like for me it works for me but definitely you might want to do a test patch i had a few comments and they're like that's not for this they're right which i completely understand and it's no disrespect to you guys but you don't have to use your lipstick only for lipstick right you can also use it for blush you can also use it for eyeshadow right same thing for um like little household hacks like when you take a lighter and you're like burning your eyeliner right that's not made for this like those two are not supposed to go together but it just works if your eyeliner is dry or for example the hack of people using like a fork to do their wing liner there's just a thousand of hacks that you can just grab around your house and it just some for re some reason it worked I just wanted to put that out there okay so anyways let's go ahead and just get right into the video I have my makeup kit right behind me which I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it so first things first we're gonna go ahead and take um, the equate uh, deep cleansing astringent I don't even know how to say that but we're just gonna go ahead and just um, prep my skin you guys if you guys are OG's to my channel if you guys are part of the team part of the family you guys know I like to use Noxzema wipes to prep my skin but I ran out, um, which literally when I made the trip to Walgreens today, I should have went to go pick it up. But I forgot these things be so strong to me. And my clients are so funny. When I be using like cleaning agents on their skin like this, they be loving it. And me, I be like choking. But yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and wipe down the skin. All right, skin is feeling nice and fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do my eyebrows off of camera really quick and then we're gonna come back and get into just prepping the skin for our two primers of the day, period. All right, you guys, do not mind Simba. He is knocked out over there, he's so funny. But I did go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. Y'all, I was struggling. Today was one of those days that they was just not looking like related like it wasn't giving sisters it wasn't giving cousins it was just giving like friends but um i did go ahead and fix my eyebrows so let's go ahead and just get into it so first things first before we um test out the primers i'm gonna go ahead and just moisturize my skin i'm gonna take the holy hydration from elf this is my hands down holy grail favorite moisturizer but i'm just gonna go ahead and take a generous amount and just prep my skin so especially because this is gonna be like more of a drying um mattifying primer you really want to make sure your skin has moisture underneath those those primers 
so I'm gonna just work this into the skin now I'm just gonna talk about the candidates that are gonna be good for these primers if you have extremely oily skin this is for you if you work long hours like 8 to 10 to 12 hour shifts and you wear makeup to work this is also for you because this is gonna help with your makeup um, like stick and last long if you like mattifying makeup this is also for you so if you fall into any of those categories this is for you the only time I would say this probably won't be a hack that you can try would be if you have super dry skin you don't really want to you know put a drying mattifying product on there this is our calamine lotion and then this is the Philips milk of magnesia okay you guys hear they both have like that watery kind of uh, consistency I'm gonna use these uh, same brushes just two different ones so we're not like mixing product on this side of my face where my nose ring is we're gonna use the milk of magnesia and then on this side of my face we are gonna use the calamine lotion and we're just gonna see how this is going to go I'm so excited guys like I'm so excited let me I'm trying to use a lighter for everything right now I don't know why Ugh. all right let's pop this bad boy open This is taking okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and just pour a small amount into the cap, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just take the brush, dip my brush into it, and we are just going to okay. That feels like a lot. So, first things first, it feels like just a liquid, it doesn't feel um. It doesn't feel like it looks pretty clear and it just feels like a liquid like kind of like really uh, watery watery liquid nothing crazy for the other side of my face let's go ahead and take the calamine lotion this has like a dropper so I like to put it on the back of my hand we don't need a lot um, and then we're just gonna dip the other brush that was clean and we're just going to work this into the skin so as you guys see this already starts off pretty um, like pigment it a little bit uh so we're just going to actually put way more than i usually do i don't use a lot of these products so i'm just gonna wipe off a little bit of excess and we're just gonna work this into the skin immediately i can tell you the one thing that is different is the drying time this calamine lotion it dries fairly fast like like i know this side of my face is going to probably turn white soon but it is taking time to do that so so i'm going to go ahead and come back in two minutes i think this is going to need some more time to dry or maybe it's just going to come like this because i worked it into my skin we will see but i'll be back in two minutes to just see what it's looking like okay so within the two minutes make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already join the team and just do a like Excuse me, not for being rude. But go ahead and join the team and just do it like Nike, period. We lit on this side. It's only baddies that know how to do their makeup. And we gonna learn whatever we don't know. So anyways, let's go ahead and just get into it. So first things first, I mean, usually when I see people use Milk and Magnesia, it's like, like super white. So I guess they use a lot. I don't like to use a lot of the product. Um, so the Calamine is leaving a film, like kind of like a pink cast over my face. Whereas maybe because I didn't use a lot of the Philips, um it's not really leaving a cast so we're just gonna take a little bit more we we want to give this a fair shot honestly so I'm just gonna take a little bit more and I'm just going to just work this on the skin like I really thought I was gonna get like a white ghosty cast but the timer finished and we got nothing so we're just gonna add a little bit more product if that doesn't show up we're gonna just move on so let me just speed up the drying process and fan this side of my face but while this side is drying down let's go ahead and talk about the calamine so like you guys see it is leaving like a kind of casty pinkish white film over my skin um but as you guys know i know calamine lotion this does not like ha give me any issues you're not gonna have any issues with your foundation coming out lighter or it like um yeah so this is giving okay so yeah it's not gonna come out like lighter or like mix or anything like that so um when we talk about the texture it feels very very like smooth like very very smooth um but it does not feel tight it doesn't feel tight at all whereas on this side of my face now we're getting a little bit of cast which is good like I kind of wanted that um I kind of wanted it to kind of match 
the calamine lotion but with this side of my face it feels tighter so I feel it drying down I feel it getting tighter um, so those are the two things it's not extremely tight where it's like uncomfortable I don't know if you guys ever like washed your face with like a bar soap and like your skin feels like super stiff it's not like that dramatic but it is tighter you guys know I have a dimple on this side so I kind of feel it stretching when I smile um but it's nothing extreme alrighty guys so for foundation we're gonna use my holy girl foundation this is the juvia's place foundation in savannah 440 so we're gonna go ahead and just see what this is looking like after we apply it i'm just gonna take some and put it on the back of my hand guys i need i need to buy another foundation i'm definitely running out all right so i'm just gonna take my um foundation brush I'm a concealer brush and we're just gonna do some like streaks so I did three on that side we're gonna do three on this side I don't really like too much foundation on my forehead so I'm gonna keep it light one streak down the nose All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of work this into the skin, just spreading it out a little bit more. Same thing for this side, we're just gonna spread it out. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite um, foundation brush. This is the e.l.f. Bluffing Foundation Brush, and I'm just going to just, just push this foundation into my skin. Um, so this is the side of the milk of magnesia um so far it's looking super duper matte on this side like super matte um i'm liking it it's also giving like i don't know it's just giving like real full coverage on this side like it's definitely super matte so on the other side i'm just gonna take this flat brush this i don't even know where this is from i'm just gonna use that to blend this side in we're just pushing this into the skin so for the calamine side okay so i don't know i don't know if this is like I feel like on the milk and magnesia side it's giving more matte in my opinion maybe I don't know if maybe I use just more product there but it looks kind of more like covered like more full coverage so I'm not mad at it I'm not mad but they both are giving me a run for my money right now so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just continue with my normal makeup routine so you guys can I'll just speed this part up but yeah let me just go ahead and finish up I got my driver's license last week just like we always talked about cause you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house but today I drove through the suburbs crying cause you were and you're probably with that blonde girl Who always made me doubt She's so much older than me She's everything I'm insecure about Yet today I drove through the suburbs Cause how could I ever love someone?
today I drove through the suburbs and pictured I was dressed. This is what the makeup is looking like. Neither side looks better than the other. They both look pretty identical, but we're gonna wear a wear test and we're gonna do a wear test and we're gonna see which side withholds. I'm gonna wear it for eight hours because that's a typical work shift. So um, it is 11.04 now. Siri, what time would it be eight hours from now? Seven? So it'll be 7.04 p.m. when I come back to give you guys a wear test and see what side is looking the best. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So yeah, guys. Hey y'all, so, hey, I'm gonna put my flash on, be a little ghetto. Okay, so, ooh, per. I'm just checking in. It is currently 4.06, so we have three more hours, and I just wanna show you guys what we are looking like. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go get undressed. I just came back from brunch with my cousin, so I'm gonna go ahead and get undressed, and I will see you guys soon. All right, you guys, so I am officially back. It has been actually nine hours with me wearing this makeup, so it is currently 8.22. I was supposed to come back at um, seven, but guys, I'm so tired. Well, I'm not tired anymore. I needed a nap, like it was mandatory. So um, I did go ahead and take um, a nap I was out all day um, I went out to brunch I went to go touch up my nails which the nail shop literally took like two hours of my day um, when I got home I was just kind of like chilling and stuff so I've been in this makeup for a very very long time but I'm very very happy to show you guys what is going on so I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom you guys in Alright guys, so this is what my face is looking like um, nine hours later. So this side of my face is the uh, Milk of Magnesia and this side of my face is the Calamine Lotion. So this is what my face is looking like. Um, let's go ahead and just get into the details of this. So let's start with the Milk of Magnesia. Um, it is very, very, very matte. Like the makeup is pretty much there um, under my eye that I didn't have it there so let's really focus on this area of my face it's pretty much here um, I feel like on this side the calamine it's there but it's a little bit more um, what I think happens is they both are gonna give you the matte look but from my experiment it looks like with the Milk of Magnesia, your makeup is going to last longer. Whereas with the Calamine, I'm getting just a little bit of more natural. So if you have excessively oily skin, I feel like the Milk of Magnesia is going to help it not like um, break your makeup apart. Whereas when you have the Calamine Lotion on for more than 8 hours, it still has makeup, but it just gives you more of a natural glow. Um... My makeup today, it wasn't makeup -ing though. All day I was kind of complaining about my makeup. I'm having like cracking, like patching. Like I just been having like kind of like a rough makeup day today. So um, I'm just trying to touch it up on camera with you guys with the sponge. There's no extra product on here. Um, so my makeup wasn't the best, but um, from just our results, because like on this side, I feel like this side looks just more like makeup after nine hours whereas this side it's still makeup but it's giving like natural you know so yeah this is what my face is looking like i feel like from like a standard point there's you can't really see much of a difference um but when we do go into details i feel like this side is not looking as strong as this side of my face so i think to properly really test this out i probably have to run this test one to two more times to really see because it can be different vari variables that can cause it to um you know not be giving us like 110 percent the best results but for the most part um, milk and magnesia definitely did last longer surprisingly um but in this video i wasn't really trying to see like which one do i want to use like which one i want to use more than the other i think they're both good i still feel like i'm going to keep using the calamine lotion especially because it's actually formulated for the skin but i think there is going to be times where let's say um i'm going out and i want to probably mix it up that's one thing about me like we might have a concealer that we love but we're gonna still buy other concealers 
and they all work good in its own different ways but you know you one month you want to do use that concealer the next month you want to use the other one you know what I'm saying same thing with like brushes and sponge like sometimes when I do my makeup I'm using a sponge and sometimes I'm using a brush it just really depends on how I'm feeling that day so um, but at the end of this video, I think Milk and Magnesia did come out a little bit stronger today. I don't know. It, it threw me for a curveball. I didn't think um, it would look as good. But that is it for today's video. Today we wanted to put to the test Milk and Magnesia and Calamine Lotion. We wanted to see which one was going to withhold within 8 hours. And today we got to do a bonus hour, which we did it for 9 hours. And at the end, we found out that Milk and Magnesia is going to give you more of a like, your glam is still glamming and calamine lotion is going to give you you got makeup on but hours went by and it's starting to dull down and i i personally and a few people in my comments of my last calamine video they definitely did say the same thing like like that i'm about to say for some reason i do like when my makeup dulls down throughout the day like i don't mind if i have my makeup on for 10 minutes 10 hours and like now it's looking more natural kind of like it um but for different occasions you're going to need different things so for example milk and magnesia i have clients not the best thing that they do but sometimes like they book me because they're about to go out of town and they'll keep their makeup on for like a day an extra day or something so i'll probably grab milk and magnesia next time since it's seeming that this is lasting longer but that is pretty much it if you guys like these experimental videos you guys like makeup tips and makeup hacks and stuff like that definitely subscribe to my channel we do stuff like this fairly often you can always comment down below on any of my videos what you guys want to see or if you made it this far in my video today's secret emoji is going to be a milk we're gonna put a glass of milk okay because milk at magnesia one so we're just gonna put a glass of milk i love you guys so much i'm about to take this makeup off finally and i'm about to just go to the gym get a nice little workout um but yeah i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys